theory, we're totally live. Although I gotta actually go check it, make sure it's actually working. <clears throat> of course, without without any halfling heroes, we're gonna have a difficulty having a game, aren't we? Let me see here. Yeah. Um, especially since all the prepped adventures are for a party of at least three, four, four players. I don't feel like playing that many players and NPCs because I'm already playing all the NPCs. So, if anything, test the audio settings. Hey, Bess, can you give me a five count? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that those audio settings are actually better than last week's. So we're we're getting better at this. That's for sure. Although I have the infinite scroll back into the into infinity. Uh, so well, as long as we're as long as we're sitting here poking around on characters, I guess I should. Uh, can I look at can I at least look at your character sheet? Can I can I look at your character? Uh, where's your character? Trace, right? Trace. Yes. And of course not. But I can look at the party sheet. All right. Let me see what. Let me see what opens up mine. All right. So apparently, I can only open one that I own. All right, so <clears throat> I need to give you the, as long as we're here, we probably need to give unarmed stuff, right? Unarmed attacks, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, let's. Um, hmm. character die hide that in I think I gave that to someone super cool like Harbeck where is Harbeck well you swapped it over to me so did I let me see here maybe maybe you need to give it to Harbeck <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Well, he has an unarmed attack punch. But what I really need to do is I need to take that unarmed attack punch and I need to turn that into an actual item so that everyone can just equip it. So I'm going to make an item. All right. Which is a simple melee weapons, and it is a punch. Amber Prime just did asked us a question on Discord. Um, let's see here. Oh, uh, we are live. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Uh, Amber's asking, well, are we going to roll up a halfling? We are live now. If you want to join to roll. All right. Well, we'll see what happens with that. Okay. Well, that looks like I do have that. And I have a gauntlet, gauntleted punch and a uh, uh, and I need to share that record. Okay, so now if you click on 
items. Let's see if I can make uh -huh. this work. Hmm? Items? Yeah, items, and then just uh, down in the search, just search for unarmed. Oh, yeah, they're showing up. Yay. Well, I'm going to try and put them over here into my character sheet now. So I'm going to, I'm going to do an unarmed punch. There we are. That worked. And it's equipped. So now let's go check my actions. I should have... I, did, uh, I have an unarmed attacked punch. Yay. Okay, that worked. Did you get it? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. We can now equip an unarmed punch. Uh, I can probably make... What I really want to do is I want to make that unarmed punch... I want to make that unarmed punch, uh, punch actually use strength, because that, that would make sense, don't you think? If that unarmed punch used strength. Uh, so 1d4 plus strength. Try that. All right, Dandy, try and try and use that. Let's see what happens if I go to my inventory now. Is let's see if that translates correctly. Inventory. I need to get rid of that thing here, so let me add it like this. Get rid of unarmed punch. Now I'm going to go back to unarmed punch. Drag that, drag that over here, drop it in my inventory. There we are. Now let's go over to actions. Oops. No, it just says plus four. I'm going to try and do that. Nope, just one D four. It's always fun with Fantasy Grounds, isn't it? Uh, okay, so damage is going to be You know, I wonder if this is the same thing as last time, because last time it wasn't working when I did it with the um, the 
Let me edit this one. No, that's not doing it. Let's see here. I see grounds. Um, add strength bonus weapon. No, oh, you have to add, you have to add an extension to make that work, of course. Okay, well, apparently not. Oh, well. I know how to add the plus two, but I want to add to the damage. Well, add strength. Bonus two weapons damage. Well, yet another thing to ask in the reddits later. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this does... I, I, there's probably a way to make this do it. And you know what? If I go look at the other items... Hee 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 hee. Um, where's the player's handbook? Let me go find player's handbook. I wonder if there's any weapons that actually add strength bonus to it. Here it is. Oh, D&D 5e does not add strength to the attack bonus. Well, that's... What's the use of being super strong and throwing a punch if your punch does the same amount of damage as someone who's not as super strong? Did I lose everybody? I'm probably talking to myself. No, I'm here. Okay. Okay, I'm just talking to myself. Uh, and what the heck? Well, does it make sense? It, it, it should make sense to to add like the strength bonus to the to the damage of your weapons, doesn't it? Well, yeah, because I mean, if you're strong, you obviously do a harder punch. So yeah that's like the you know it's like would you do you want to get punched by the uh the skinny bean pole guy or the martial arts master who has spent who has spent years punching logs I'd like to get punched by the computer programmer please um hmm okay well. I'll have to figure out how to make that a thing. All right, well, it's clearly not plus strength. 
And when I looked it up on the Fantasy Grounds thing, it wasn't there. Let's see here. Let's go down to their examples. Let's see here. Damage, 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 damage. Fix. Let's see here. All right, let's see here. So damage ranged, damage range. Hmm. Oops. That's not what I want to do. I want to do a find. I'm on a different computer. Dog on a PC uses control, not command. Ah, ah, ah. Damage. There we are. All right, damage, 2D fire, damage, damage, damage. Hmm. Radiant damage, radiant. Hmm. Okay, my computer is doing weird things. Stop it. Okay, that's just annoying. All right, let's see here. All right, so 1d4. Let's try it the way they have it in the examples, like this. Okay, and let me go back to my inventory, and then I will unequip and reequip it so it reparses it. There are actions. Nope. Oh, darn it. No fun. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hunt for some new characters. Apparently, uh, apparently Amber's taking a road trip. Wow. So they're actually, uh, you just, they just said that they're not going to be available next week either, which is something, something they forgot about because they're taking a road trip down to... Yep. Yes. Got it. Oh, do they say that in the in the chat too? Monitor is flickering, which means I've got to shift. I got to plug it into a different. Time to rewire everything in the middle of the day. I don't know if it's the power or if it's something else. I'm going to shift the HDMI input to the different one. There we go. Let's try putting the HDMI on that one. Now let's see if that improves it. No, it's still turning on and off. All right, time for a new monitor. Can I get a really big monitor? All right, well, so what do you do when no one shows up for the game? <laughs> you do game prep. That's what you do. All right, so what are we going to do for the main campaign? How 
have to switch this thing over and do something different. So, oh, we're not going to play Halfling Heroes today? Well, we can play with just you and I. I lost my computer screen. Now it's stabilized, so good. Okay, so now it's not flickering anymore, so I'm very happy with that. Um, so for Halfling's Heroes, what can I do? Uh, Some prep. Yeah. Well, what would you like to do? You want to flip back and play Baz? Uh, go solo someplace, or you want to uh, you want to try want to run some some something through Halfling Heroes, or is there something specific we need to explore? Because the game um, is all yours. You're in control. Well, um, I can't really play Baz because we're about to go. Um, get the people we're going to go investigate that area. So, I can't, you know, split off hmm. for or a day because, you know, we're timed. Mm hmm. Well, that's true, too. Um, and I'm just going to assume you don't have prep for just one person. No. You prep for three people, so... Four. <laughs> four people, so... Yeah, so, yeah, so I'm kind of stuck, I'm, I'm kind of stuck a little bit, I, I mean, uh... I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's just, uh, call that a, call that a stream and have a movie night instead. So, we'll, we'll have to get back to this next week. I am. Go I am going to. Uh, I think. Uh, I think this. This tells me that what I need to do is I need to make up a whole bunch of really nice little one-person quests. For. Yeah. So, need to come up with a way to. Need to have a whole bunch of that stuff prepped up for both sets of adventures. Good heavens. Ah, summertime hits and all the players disappear. Oh well. School's out. School's out for summer. Um. Well, sex that they couldn't make it. Next week, uh, Harbeck should be back, though. Yeah, next week so. Harbeck will be back. So we'll tell you what. What we'll do is we'll we'll, we'll go with uh, Baz and Harbeck no matter what. And uh, well, you know, to be perfectly honest, I'm just going to put this out now. It's like anyone else out in the stream, if you're interested in joining the campaign, we need some steady players. People who will show up and have a good time. Because this is all good and fun. So, Always nice to have more play. Yeah, exactly. So, major call for please come out and play. Does anyone want to play? Um, what else we got going on here? Okay, um, ta, 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 ta. I still want to try and figure out, I want to figure out how to get strength into, into the damage class. That's one primary hand, offhand, the attack roll. He's plus two for an unarmed attack, so let me go back to his, is that because that's a strength, no, strength is a zero, so he's getting proficiency in that. So it's probably because, oh, I see, there, there's a proficiency star there. Oh, that's how that's working. So there's little proficiency stars on the weapons to control whether or not you're proficient in them or not. I really think that there should be a strength modifier for this thing. I just did four damage to nothing in the air. I punched the air because I'm upset, and the air cried in pain. All right, well, let's see here. So how? Uh... I'm gonna leave it the way I had it set. 
Here we are. Mm, nope. It's ignoring me. Evil, evil thing. It is. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guess what, Trace? What? My, my strength modifier is zero. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these rolls may have actually done what I wanted it to do. It just didn't show up because I got no strength. Well, let's see. What happens if I... Can I, can I uh, just magically boost... Look at that. I'm going to magically boost my strength to 18. It's working! Yay. It's freaking working! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ah. <laughs> uh, <sighs> I just, yeah, that is, that is just hilarious. Okay, so now here's the question. Is it doing it automatically or is it doing it because I have this in here? I'm going to get rid of this. Put this thing back in here. Bam. You know what? Uh, so guess what? What? Um, Fantasy Grounds is automatically adding in your str my strength to it. So let me see if I can flip this. I'm going to try and flip this to dexterity. Uh, damage 1d4, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to go um, wisdom. What's my wisdom bonus? Okay, so I had a strength of 10. Uh, my wisdom bonus is plus 2. So actions... All right, so now, uh, It looks like it's locked into strength. Fantasy Grounds is automatically adding in strength bonus. So you do do more damage if you're stronger. Nice. Which is good. But I'm trying to get this thing to use... Wisdom bonus. Wisdom bonus for an unarmed attack? Well, if I can figure out how to make it work for... Um, uh, if I can figure out how to make it work for... Um, uh, for for unarmed attack, I can then, I can then custom make weapons. Right. So, and actually, you know what? There's a really good spell that I can go look at that will tell me what's going on here because one of the spells that's in the 
uh, system, which is part of the base rules, is a shalehi. A shalela. Shalela la 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 la. And let me go look at that spell. Uh, the actual definition of the spell in the system. All right, I'm just going to make a duplicate of it real quick. Share that so there's now a shared copy of it. And I'm going to get in here and edit it. So let's see how this thing works. Touch. The wood of your club becomes imbued for the duration. You can use your spellcasting ability instead of strength for the attack and damage rolls. Yummy. Uh, hey. Okay, this screen's going bad. It's starting to flicker. Um, see that the power supply is going bad on it. I've got another monitor to use the same power supply. Maybe I'll swap power supplies. Let's see if this power might be electrical. Um, and the weapon's damage die becomes a D8. Okay, but they don't have any of the magical auto parse language in here, which tells me they couldn't figure out how to make it work either. <laughs> oh well. That will be a fun one to play with. Ah, well, so is there anything, uh, um, can I answer any questions for you? Is there something you want me to fix, update, change about your character? Oh, we should, um, we should give Trace. Oh, you're, you've already disconnected. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. I'm not leaving yet, but, no, I was gonna um, there's not that much. I don't think there's anything. Nothing really comes to mind with both my characters. Okay. I think they're fine. Well, the one thing we didn't do is we haven't we haven't applied the uh, new skill set rules to the halflings yet. I think that I think we should do that like all as a group, though. That's probably fair. All right. Well, then uh, that's the world's fastest D and D game. Dun dun dun. Oh well. At least we got here, right? That's that's half the battle, right? I mean, the challenge the challenges show up. We did, even if other people didn't. Yeah, we showed up. We, we showed up. Good. We're way better than everybody else. Those, those, those other players. Err. I love it when people just tell you, "No, we're not. Uh, you know, we, we can't make it." Like after the meeting started. That happens at work all the time. You get the cancellation minute. Can, you know, it's, they cancel the meeting five minutes after it starts. <laughs> All right. Well, so starting next week, uh, yeah. So let's see here. So starting next week, I'm gonna start trying to do the uh, once a day thingy. I gotta get, I gotta get, that, make that a strong habit, but so that when we hit, uh, uh, when we when we hit uh, July, I'm all prepped and rocking and rolling. So it's all built in. I'm just doing it. So that'll be fun. Yeah, that sh should be fun. Okay. Well then, let's go. Let's go do a movie or something. So, to everybody else, good night. Thanks for thanks for watching. As short as this is, but uh, it is what it is. So, have a good night. Good night.